What's going on guys, it is Andrew here, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. This is episode 3 in this brand new season. In the last episode, we actually got to Pleasant Valley, and that was awesome. But, I apparently missed a rifle that was in this cabin, and it was really hard to see. You guys told me in the comment sections below in the last video of exactly where it was, and I looked. And oh my god, it was there, but it was in, like, in the shadows, and I have no idea how you guys saw it. And it was actually multiple people who saw it, so... I don't know, you guys are freaking wizards or something, but it was right here in this corner, um, so I'll show you guys that we do indeed have it now. Uh, it does not have any ammo, however, which kind of sucks, and it is also 2 a.m. and pitch black outside. I don't want to go outside in pitch black, so we're going to rest for five hours um, and hope that... Uh, Hope that we wake up in an okay condition. We'll probably be thirsty because that happens usually when you nap in this game. Yeah, thirsty and hungry, but not full. Like, they're not, like, I'm not going to die or anything anytime soon, which is which is great. So let's head out. And uh, I want to just keep heading on down the road, guys. Heading down into Pleasant Valley a little more. There's a bridge over here, so we can check that out. Oh, also, you guys have been telling me that I should be checking the trunks. I didn't even think of checking the trunks. Okay, it's locked. So it requires a tool, which I actually don't have at the moment. Which is okay, that's fine. So now I know, though, that you can check the trunk. Once again, thank you. Can't thank you guys enough if it wasn't for you. Half of these survival games, I would just be derping around. More than I already derp around, which is like... Hard to believe that someone could even derp around that uh, that much, but I, I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you. If you know anything else about the game that I don't know, or if you see anything in this episode that I happen to not see, then you make sure you leave it in the comment section below because I do read all of the comments, every single one of them, uh, and make sure that you know the community and the family here are uh, are happy because obviously that's you know my goal here is to provide entertainment that we all want to see and watch. So what I want to do now, guys, is actually head down, just keep following this road, follow the uh, into Pleasant Valley. I mean, we're already in Pleasant Valley now, but I mean, like, I, I I'd assume there's at least some type of maybe small town or like little tiny, at least bundle. I don't know, if bun bundle's probably not the right word, but little bundle of, uh, of cabins or something somewhere, kind of like how it is in um, Coastal Highway where there's a... Uh, I, it's not even a town. It's like maybe 15 buildings, but I wonder if I don't know if Pleasant Valley has something like that. I'm I'm completely completely new to Pleasant Valley. Uh, my experience of it being in Pleasant Valley is the 10 minutes that I've been in it so far, and I've been in what three buildings, maybe, maybe just two. So, but we have a gun already, so that's a positive. Um, and as we're running, I want to talk about something. Uh, about a week or maybe a little bit more than a week ago, I mentioned in a fourth video that I'm going to start doing two videos a day. Uh, and ever since then, there's at least one comment on every single video I've posted saying, when are you going to start doing two videos a day? Um, and I just want to let you guys know, give you guys a little bit of an update on that. Uh, that is going to come. That is still happening. I, I'm going to be doing two videos a day every day. Um starting hopefully soon but the reason why i haven't yet is because i personally feel like i'm missing one maybe two but at least one more core channel game so what i mean is the long dark subnautica the forest those are core games that i can post you know every other day or every day and you know you guys will enjoy it um and then there's games like you know oh okay all right then there's uh you know a lot of games that I'll do one-off videos on, like I did one of Savage Lands the other day, and I probably won't do another video on that game, because it was not great. Um, and, you know, Coffin Dodgers, which I really enjoyed, but, you know, that's obviously not a daily a daily series. So, what I am waiting for is, I'm just going to drop a name right here. I'm waiting for Survive the Nights. I think that Survive the Nights is going to be a freaking amazing game. Um... I know that a lot of you have been, you know, watching Survive the Nights alongside me, and if you haven't, go on my channel and actually search Survive the Nights, and you'll see a little uh, exclusive gameplay video that they sent to me, uh, and it's a hunting video, and it's, it's an amazing game, guys. Super, super in-depth. like I survived another night. Yeah, you did. What do you mean? It's 8 a.m. You survived eight hours ago, another night. Come on, man. You're killing me. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, but Survive the Nights is going to be, uh, in my opinion, uh, 
completely amazing game, and I'm waiting for that to come around. Um, I think when Survive the Nights comes out, uh, you know, we'll have Survive the Nights, Stranded Deep, Subnautica, The Long Dark, uh, and who knows, sometimes games just pop out of nowhere. Uh, like, for example, Subnautica for me kind of just came out of nowhere, and now it's a core channel game. And uh, once we get at least Survive the Nights and then maybe one so more game, cold. then I'm going to start doing two videos a day. Um, down and then... I'd also like to start getting back into some other type of games, like horror games uh, and stuff like that. Because if you guys didn't know, before I did survival games, my main genre was horror. I posted a horror video every day. But then the horror genre just started getting really bad. And I was just like, no, no more of this. So, yeah, that's my story. I just figured I'd, you know, talk a little bit. Kind of give like a channel update because... You know, channel updates usually don't do that well on channels, and I figured you guys are going to watch anyways, rather than watching me run down the street and just go, hmm, that's a good tree, that i just let you guys know exactly what's going on here, so. Um, oh, a deer. Too bad I don't have any freaking bullets. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. Oh, there's a giant house there that I ran past and I didn't see. Okay, well, we're going to go to it. Um, hopefully this house has some bullets. This looks like a big house. Uh, maybe a like a farm. It looks like it has like one of those like silos beside it. So I think it's like a farmland. I, I I'm kind of getting that. Oh, that's that is a big big house, and it has a, a barn as well. That's definitely a uh, definitely a farm. Nice deer outside that I'm gonna have to shoot in the face. I'm sorry, deer. It's survival of the fittest. I mean, I'm not very fit, but survival of the fittest. Ist. <laughs> okay, so oh, they had a dog. Rip dog. Everyone, rip dog in the comment section below. Poor dog. Okay, so a book that we can use in the f in the foyer place. We got some. We got some firewood. Cloth that we can use to repair. We even got a sewing kit, so that'll probably come in handy. Some newsprint. Ooh, an insulated vest. Let's take a look at this real quick. There's the insulated vest. Can I wear it? I can. It doesn't even take anything off either. That'll help us a little bit. A flare. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I, I, I can drink it, but why would I do that? Oh, it does calories. I wonder if you could heat it up. I should have taken it. See if I could... See if I could heat it up or something. Lots of books. I'm just going to take them all so that Too I can... Much stuff oh, there to we carry. go. Yeah, I know we got too much stuff, buddy. We're good. I'm going to set it all on fire, so it's okay. Don't worry about that. Fatigue is uh, fatigue's gonna start skyrocketing now that we uh, are encumbered. So we're gonna go ahead and start a fire. Start it with uh, wood matches. Use uh, newsprint. Use a book. And uh, we don't need an accelerant. Well, we should have probably used an accelerant because this is gonna. I'm probably gonna die of old age by the time this fire started. <laughs> I think they slowed down the the time it takes to start a fire because I don't ever remember being this long. But whatever, I don't really care. Not a big deal. Uh, there we go. Fire starting increased. All right. So what's taking up? all our weight here hopefully we can get some medicine medicine is always handy oh no i know that when i go to my uh my cabin i usually oh i thought those are bullets damn it's just herbal tea i need like a good like some raw rabbit meat or something like some good like 1000 calorie type meat those like those like deer and rabbit meat and stuff they are really good okay so um I wonder if this place is a basement. It's pretty big. Maybe not. Cabins don't typically usually have, like, basements, do they? Not really. Uh, let's check what our... Okay, so... that uh, The harvesting and whatnot did help a little with the... Uh... 
<sighs> with um our uh, encumberment. Oh, there's a little uh balcony That'll type thing. Handy. Oh, there we go. We got a crowbar. Or, a, sorry, a pry bar. I actually do think that there is a difference between a crowbar and a pry bar as well. If any of you know, let me know in the comments. I think they're just shaped differently the way they are. They're used for different things. Can you actually use a crow? Hold on. Can you use a crowbar to open one of these? Oh. You need a can opener, a knife, or a hatchet. I challenge you because I think that in real life... Oh my god, it's bad out. I just want to see if it has one of those, um... Kind of like basement thingies. It doesn't. Can you get into the, uh... Oh, it does! Hey! Look at that! Oh, scrap metal. I knew it, because, like, most of those farmhouse type things have... Hatchets like this. Uh, it was a long shot, and look at that. It actually has one, so that's cool. Um... We don't have any light source. Oh, yeah, we got a lantern, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Okay. More newsprint, which I am not even going to bother with. Make sure we don't miss anything down here because of the dark. Or else I'm going to get ripped apart in the comments. Food. Like always. I need to find food. We have plenty of food. The problem is we don't have a goddamn can opener. That's the issue here. I could probably eat those crackers. I mean, while we have the water to uh, dehydrate it, it literally dehydrates you. Eating these crackers dehydrates you. Soon. Wow. I know they're yeah they are they do they actually do that in real life so I understand. Good thing we have water. That's why I want to eat the crackers now rather than rather than later where we'd be screwed because we actually have the water now, so might as well might as well utilize it, right? I will end up opening that, guys, don't worry. I just want to kind of look around first. You can actually check the dryer. What have we here? Ooh. We can harvest that. Harvest that. Harvest that. Harvest all of it. Jeans, 39%. All of this is harvestable material, guys. So I don't even know if I have cotton long johns on right now. Do I? I do. And they're good, too. 94%. So we can harvest all this stuff. I just harvest a bunch of stuff. So I know you guys don't want to see it on camera. So I'll do it off camera or something. Or in just a different episode. Purification tablets. Antibiotics. This is turning out to be decent, guys. We got a workbench here. So let's actually... A bearskin bedroll. That's pretty cool. Um... Right, so this is a crafting table. Let's see, um... Tools, we got our gun. How do you repair the gun again? We have fur and scrap metal, which we actually have. And then, I think you need a tool. Oh no, never mind. You just, it does not require a tool, it just requires fur and scrap metal. So there we go, our... I do not have fur anymore. Okay. Is it pronounced? It's pronounced fur, right? I don't know. You guys can let me know. And then let's see if we can actually, uh... Do we... Deer skin boots, you need leather and gut. A hook, you need scrap metal. Okay, we actually have that. A hook and a line for a fishing tackle. Rabbit skin mitts, that's pretty self-explanatory. A snare is a gut in reclaimed wood. Okay. You can actually make torches, which is cool. And a wolfskin coat, which is pretty self-explanatory once again. So I do not have, you know, materials required. I do not have the materials required. Let's refuel our lantern. We have plenty of, uh... Well, not plenty. Yeah, it's already out, actually. I am dumb, but we needed to see, so. Because we have we these, and then we have the lockers that are upstairs. Or, sorry, not upstairs, just over around the corner. And then I also want to watch my weight, because I'm encumbered right now. 
bandage. Grape soda. Give me something good, baby. Nobody needs this anymore. Socks. There was literally socks in the. Ooh, peanut butter. 900 calories. That's pretty good. That is pretty good, actually. All right. Well, um. Make sure we just didn't miss anything. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. Um, I'm just going to get back inside here, and then we will go ahead and end this episode here. It was actually a good episode. Uh, we found the hunting rifle. Then we found another hunting rifle. So and we actually repaired our hunting rifle on top of that. Let's extinguish this. We don't need it anymore. Um, oh, God, no. Do not place it on the ground. Um, and then we, uh, we looted this house. Not totally, apparently. We got some shoes. Yeah, so apparently I missed a bunch of stuff, but you get the idea. We looted this house for the most part. <laughs> and um, I think we have a pretty stable base uh, to uh, to move on forward from here. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you have any ideas for what I should do in future episodes. Or if you have any tips or things that you saw that I did wrong in this episode. I'm not perfect. And I know there's people out there who are way better at the long dark than I am, especially since this game is so freaking hard. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like. Uh, it goes a long way in helping the channel. And please subscribe if you're new here. I love your faces. Bye-bye.